cutting right through the heart of the city. The Chicago River and the Windy City are setting today. Thanks for joining 2K Sports for NBA action this Sunday afternoon. Here with Grant Hill, Mark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And we're pleased to have a legend of the game at the broadcast table with us, Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks for allowing me to join you all today. I appreciate it. Let's take a look at the numbers for Justin Holiday. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. So a look at the starters for the Pacers. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Karis LeVert. And it's Dorte in at the shooting guard position. And for the Bulls, they've got Alex Caruso. Tony Bradley out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then it's Ball. And it's Levine in at the three. Well, Candace, the Bulls have churned through over a dozen head coaches since the Zen master left. But they feel they now have the right fit with Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan, obviously a coach that's come from college, transitioned into the NBA seamlessly, and he did that because... First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about me. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Boy, guys, it's so good to see somebody still taking advantage of the mid-range. Levert with the bucket. Down low. Bradley. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Brogdon. Coming off a 16-point game against New Orleans. Turner against Ball. Three on the clock. Here's Duarte. Knocks down the triple. Three. Good job finding the clean look behind the arc. Yes, the WNBA has been on the front lines and, you know, just proud to represent this league, a league that stands for equality. Uh, we are a league of all women, 80% African American, um, just down the line. And so we like to pride ourselves on being the voice for the voices. Never afraid to speak up. It's always been the case in the WNBA. Now here's LeBert. Here's Duarte. Outside to LeBert. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Three guys, that's a cold-blooded answer from high today. Here's Caruso. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. And here are the Pacers now. Following the bucket by the Bulls. Right wing. Here's Duarte. Defended by DeRozan. The shot by Duarte, no good. The Bulls have gone four of eight and looking in control. Well, it feels like it's just a matter of time before a team hires a woman to be their head coach. Candace Howard. Now here's Lamb. And the shot's good. Boy, I tell you what, nice watching Lamb convert these hard baskets. I mean... Showing some real toughness on that play. Here's White. Again, the Bulls score. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Outside for McConnell. Pass to Lamb. Puts it up from 12. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. It's all tied in Chicago. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter. When we have guys down, you know, people need to step up, and I think people uh, take a little bit larger roles, whether it's scoring, whether it's just being productive off the bench, getting stops on defense. I think it's all productivity, and I think guys have been stepping up. 
Brogdon looking to carry on, Grant. Yeah, and as a team leader, he knows. I mean, even more of the burden is going to fall on his shoulders. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Attacking relentlessly. Drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. Boy, I like the aggressive nature they're playing with here. Not playing soft at all. They're going right at them. And the Pacers, look, they're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Lamb for three. Yes. And it's Jeremy McConnell Lamb. with the assist that time. Three. Lamb's... Here's Levert. And he bangs it home with one hand. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. That sends Zach Levine to the free throw line. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. First team foul. At the line for Chicago, Zach Levine, shooting one. That free throw, good from Levine. Well, Candace, you got in well over a deck. Brogdon, the pass to Levert. To the inside, Sabonis. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. At the line for the Pacers. DeMontis Sabonis, shooting one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw drops for Sabonis. I look at Sabonis as a terrific streak. It's in Denver. Also forced a bunch of trips. Oh, are you kidding me? And there's a guy who went back-to-back -back dunk contest. And now let's revisit. The Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Count that one. Sabonis, Sabonis has got seven. Well, there's a lot to like about Sabonis, but he can play finesse as well as bully ball. And I love that about him. Here's White. And the lamp is good off the glass. And the Bulls lead by five. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Inside. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist from McConnell. Nine points in the game. Yeah, I like Sabonis' game inside because he's confident and skilled. Zach Levine. He's been the guy making things happen for the Chicago Bulls. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much, Rick. What did you think of your team's offensive execution in the first half? We got to get it moving more. We got to get it driven more. Uh, they're very physical. Uh, you're trying to run plays. They blow all that stuff up. And so bottom line with our offense, we got to get some more stops. That'll help our offense. Defense leads to offense. Thanks, Coach. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Zach Levine led the way in the first half. He ended up with 15 points and one assist. The first two quarters tonight looked a lot like what we saw from him in his last game. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit, but tonight they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving it, getting that extra boost. And over to you, big fella. Your thoughts on the Pacers first half. I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough, honey. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. Today, what kind of 
three-point shooter you think you'd be? Well, I wasn't that great back in my career because it wasn't a shot that many teams used a lot, but I would have worked on it to become proficient at it, so I think I would have been a 40% three-point shooter, 35 to 40% given time to work on it, D.A. You adapt to the times, and I was actually already starting to work on my three-point game before my injuries took me out of the league. It all started with the pass. Good. On the bucket. Nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Pass to Bradley. And here's Levine. Over Levert. Levine finds DeRozan. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Result of that aggressiveness. And guys, the thing that jumps out at me is their block shots. I mean, they're playing up on the shooters tightly, and then they're sending them back. And I mean, putting those shots in reverse. All in a clear, good day's work. Levert passes to Turner to halt the run. Misses off the right iron. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's next. On the boys after that rebound. Lots of room. Again, the pull score. Oh, you have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Indiana's gone five of six from three-point land so far. Pass to Craig. Outside Holiday. McConnell finds Holiday. Lamb for three. That one falls. Jeremy nice Lamb. speed that time from the more playing time that Lamb gets, the better he'll become. He still has the potential in my mind to be a very solid player in this league. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. McConnell from outside. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bulls out in front. They lead by 11. Don't love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for the Pacers... Justin Holiday out there with Torrey Craig. Then it's Damana Sabonis. Then there's Jeremy Lamb. And it's McConnell in at the one. And I tell you what, Ball has excellent speed. He's got good size and white. And it's hammered home by Green. Can you say? Ball outside. Launches it. And the three-pointer goes. Ball's got nine points in the quarter. Drilled one from deep in the first half. Doing it again here in the second. Here's Brogdon driving in. Oh, and Bradley with a block. Levert outside. Four on the clock. And he goes in for the dunk. Well, you give Karis Levert that kind of position. Shoots. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts to a free throw. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. Now it's a player of the game, Lonzo Ball. And <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Boy, he'd been struggling a lot in the past few games. Good to see him bounce back with such a strong effort here tonight. is the glass on the layup and the Bulls lead by 21 this is what winning is all about playing your best when it matters most yeah you know once they got victory in their view a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off down low the Tadze good setup led him to the rack perfectly for the layup you know making plays for others something Lamb has been encouraged to do more of 
especially in the pick and roll. So it's the Bulls winning this one easily. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time.